everybody, this is uh, John from Munition, and uh, today we're doing the Tesla generator motor, two-phase. I saw a documentary on uh, electricity and, you know, how it came to be, and so what I did was I uh, got inspired to do this. 1888, 130 years ago, 2018, hello. I was able to find these couplers. There's a there's a perforation there where I'll cut them in half and have four slip rings. So here it is, a Tesla two-phase AC generator. I made the copper couplings into these slip rings, and I put two on each side so it was balanced and I'd be able to see which part of the circuit I was dealing with and blah, blah, blah. So this coil right here, you can see this wire comes in and touches this guy. They're slip rings. They slip around the brushes. That's basically it. But they will turn with the PVC turning with the hand crank. So what you want to do is, here I drilled a hole, pulled the wire through, made a hook, and pulled it out of this hole and connected it here. There's another hole dr drilled under here, and there's another hole drilled on the opposite side here. What happens is the rings will slip. They're kind of, they're loose. You could hot glue them if you wanted, or you can even rubber cement them. But the wire actually, the wire underneath holds the slip ring in place. So that's good. And those will spin freely when the brushes come down. There's nothing obstructing the brush from touching the slip ring. This coil right here goes into a hole here, goes through the tube, comes out this hole right there, and to the other slip ring because you don't want to have anything impeding the brush, the brush when it's touching the slip ring. You want to make sure there's good contact on the actual brush with the slip ring. And again, it's just frayed copper wire, the heavy gauge, you know, it's got a lot of turn, it's got a lot of copper actual individual wires to make these brushes touch these slip rings. So these are my brush holders, chopsticks, you know, and I drilled holes through the chopsticks to hold the brushes to touch the actual uh, slip rings right there. So now these brushes touch the slip rings. And one consideration is as this thing is spinning, Nothing can impede, you know, the chopstick can't go across all the way because it would impede this thing turning. If you wind clockwise on one of the poles and you go to, to the next pole that you were just winding, the direction, if you continued the same wind, would be counterclockwise. Okay, clockwise, counter. Clockwise, counter clockwise counter and the only way to do that on one pole is to switch directions at the halfway point so you you put the two ends together you got a sound test this slip ring this slip ring to the actual coil itself and you can see that there's a connection between the slip ring and this wire here which goes up and around this coil you need the slip ring to be connected to your wire down here. And there you go, I got, I got connection between the actual wire itself and the slip ring, and that's important because then it makes sure your brushes are touching where they need to touch. So those brushes are live, everything is live. There it is, the Tesla AC generator with slip rings, uh, you know, two sets of slip rings, four total, two phase, one, two, and are my connection points. Switch the magnet so I, I have a north and south uh, situation going on. And uh, here we are. If you look at the multimeter, it, I do have a selector here. Um, so I can select uh, DC and AC. It's actually volts, but it's thousands of volts. So there it is. 
turning this baby uh, with the brushes, the brushes in place, touching the slip rings, and there it goes. AC. Okay, so here it is, guys. We are turning. We are turning the Tesla two-phase generator. That's got the magnets nearby, and if you look at that, we are getting AC power there. It's still showing a reflection. Not super clear. Okay, we are at the AC menu, and I'm gonna give the handle a couple cranks. There you can see we are generating AC voltage, and I'm gonna take you up to the uh, take you up to the two-phase situation. There she is in action. Brushes, uh, hand crank, and we'll be back with you.